just didn't look like anything I'd ever seen. I thought at first it might be some kind of a wild man. I couldn't tell why all that hair just what it was. I changed my shells and my shotgun. From squirrel shot to my buck shot. More for my protection than anything else. If I'd have had my rifle, I believe I could have knocked him down easy. You got him, man, Newspaper and television coverage resulted in nationwide publicity. Our immediate reaction was to try to kill him. I suppose if a strange looking creature from another world showed up, he'd get the same reception. No man smoke blinds the eagle's eye, and things that crawl or swim or fly, feed and breed and live and die. <laughs> As we know, he wasn't seen again for eight years. Where did he go? Well, we believe he simply headed back deeper and deeper into the bottoms, beyond the reach of men. Only the alligator and wolf, crane and possum, and a thousand other wild creatures heard his occasional lonely cries ringing out over his watery domain. This is where the story plays A world on which we seldom gaze A page from the book of yesterday's Birds and beasts and wind and water